Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. <clears throat> Good to see you. We are running an hour late today. Appreciate everybody's patience. I had a doctor's appointment I had to attend. Checking my audio real quick. We have it. I had to go to the doctor today. Nothing's wrong. Just a simple checkup for some equipment uh, to satisfy the insurance company. But we know all about that, don't we? Let's call a few folks out. There's my friend Chris Everett. Good to see you. Buck Williams. <clears throat> Lisa Elliott. Good to see you, my friend. Chrissy Brown. Hello. Good to see you. And there's Lynn and the Bullock Experience. All right, that's the folks who's chatted so far. And hello to the folks in the background that's watching. <clears throat> All right, so if I'm a little less talkative today at times, trying to rest my voice, I've been a little hoarse. I'm not sick, just uh, been speaking a lot. We had a lot of activities. I thought you were visiting the lock lizards again. <clears throat> I, I do need a lot of new equipment. You are correct, sir. Some of my equipment is outdated. You are right. Uh, let's look at this map. This is, uh, it has a name. It's it's an African name. I won't even try to pronounce it because it's just out of the realm of possibilities for my southern drawl. But I call it the Africa map. And since it's in Africa, that's what it is. So let's look this map over. This is the main outpost, Dino Park. We're going to look at that first. And I've got us on a daytime server so we can kind of see everything. This is a very large park. Or reserve, rather. Very big. So, lots of waterways. This little area down here, I believe, is a cave. And hopefully we'll get to explore that today because there's some southern lights in there and things I'd like to go look at. Northern lights, rather. Okay, so I have opened some of this up. I have went down this road and across this bridge but the majority of it is unopened. So we're going to drive down through here and explore today. Show y'all the map as we go. Is Missy Kennedy. Missy, hope you're feeling better. Uh, with your foot and leg injuries. <clears throat> and we've got some exciting announcements to make today as well. So I'm going to walk y'all through Dino Park down here. And we're going to look at that, and then we're going to hit the road and start unlocking things and exploring a little bit and mix a little fishing in while we're at it. First of all, with the fishing reserve, I guess the first thing you want to do is talk about the fish that's on reserve. Let's show y'all that those fish at this time. We have the ones that's lit up is the ones I've caught so far. Smallmouth bass, spotted bass, common carp, one of my favorites. <clears throat> Grass carp. Mirror carp. African shark. Sharp tooth catfish. Uh, I actually caught one today, this morning. Stopped off at a new spot, threw a lure out, and caught one. Um, the red nose lumbio. The purple nose. The red breasted crouper. The canary crouper. The blue-breasted crouper, African 
Eel. I believe this is spelled Mogul, pronounced Mogul. Uh, African tiger fish. Notice the set of teeth. Large mouth yellow fish. And the small mouth yellow fish. This catfish goes up to 70, right at 74 pounds. 73 and some ounces is the biggest recorded. <clears throat> My daily phone call from Walmart never fails. A crouper is a tilapia species. We're going to walk in the park here and have a little look around. Be quiet, Buck Williams. <laughs> Stop ringing. Thank you. You heard me. Show y'all a little bit of the park, and then we're going to hit the pavement. T-Rex. The T-Rex was a cunning feasting on the flesh of any unfortunate animals it could catch. Triceratops is Greek for three-horned face, but this dinosaur had only two genuine horns. The third and much shorter horn on the end of its snout was made from a soft protein called keratin, the kind found in human fingernails and wouldn't have been much use in a tussle with the hungry raptor. Gives you a little background on the animals. Prehistoric animals. There's the name of the reserve. You see why I didn't try to pronounce it right. Hamburger place. Bait shop. Face. This will be by Welcome our base. Fishing gear. Don't be a stranger. This first lake. I have fished some. I've caught some pretty good grass carp out of this lake. A couple small mile. Haven't fished it a whole lot. That's a challenge board. I've already accepted that challenge for that. You can, of course, bank or boat fish. Hopefully we're going to get kayaks one of these days. That would be a nice addition. That's the park. That's the main park. So we're going to run up here now and go get a Jeep. And we're going to drive around the reserve. And as I drive, it's going to start unlocking things. Locations. Rent a Jeep. Ain't it gross? Okay. <laughs> A 
Aaron. That was Aaron calling. We're going to drive down this way. What does he want? <laughs> He's ringing my phone. <clears throat> All right. We're going to drive down through here. And see what we can come up with. We're gonna go this way. So, and I'm gonna stop here every once in a while and uh, unlock some stuff as we go. Like, I think I'll run down here to this and unlock this first. I'll stop and talk about what I know so far a little bit. So, this right here This little spot right here is your crouper farm. It's kind of like a fishing club type deal. And it's full of crouper. A crouper is a tilapia fish. So these lakes are stocked. I've already caught a couple of golds out of there. So it's a very good spot to go fish for some fish some of those fish get up to seven pounds like tackle this is another uh, crouper spot and we're gonna we might as well make a cast or two while we're right here see if we can't nail one I was catching them on bread and on jigs so we're gonna, this is a tube jig. And I'm gonna see what I can't come up with here. See if it'll let me catch one. Throw a little piece of bread out there. I know that's going to happen pretty quick. Should at least. I believe I've got no, no bread on here. Cheese. Just change that real quick. See if we can get one on just to show you what it's like. Just a small body ways. There's a couple of these on the reserve. Uh, so if you wanted to take some light tackle and just come out and catch a few. Now you'll notice that the cork is moving now. That come with the update. Here we got a fish coming.
This rod's a little bit of overkill for these fish, but. Oh, that's what they look like. That's a blue. There's also canary and red breasted ones in this body of water. Pretty cool. Another feature that we have now is the ability to fast travel back to your car, which is great. Also, instead of having to go change my inventory, my tackle, my storage, I can do it from the back of a Jeep. Yeah, that rod's a little bit big for that, Chrissy. And as we drive, I'm going to look. There's an outpost over here. <clears throat> I've unlocked that already. So as we drive and look, I'm going to talk about some other stuff. We have, if I don't wreck the, wreck the Jeep, we have a uh, server set up, thanks to Timmy Bullock, and for the farming game, we're going to have a community farm server. Anybody can get on it and play. It's in the server. It's, you know that you have permissions to. Um, we got. It's not open. It is by invitation. I can't ride this dog on Jeep. But to make a long story short, we're going to be able to start doing some live streams in a progressive farm. Hawk League, myself, Steve Adams, and uh, Timmy and Kelly. Seth Mohana stands on it, and I think, and I think maybe Buck Williams is going to read chat for us. Make sure I'm going the right way here. I want to go. I need to go over here. I think I passed my bridge. No, it is. It's right here. Uh. So we're going to start having a multiplayer farming. We're going to start trying to do that on Sunday evening. We probably won't be live every week, but we are going to be live on quite a bit. Oh. I ain't really quite used to reading this map yet. This is what makes you think. Yeah, this sheep's a little wonky too, I gotta tell you. Uh, but, uh, mark this as I go, that way I can make sure I don't miss a turn. We've also got a server set up now for the trucking game, which means that we will be able to do the convoys a lot easier. So when we do get ready to go live for a convoy, uh, we're going to be in better shape. I just need to follow this on the round. Can I get over here? And as I, I'm driving and looking for outposts and things for me to unlock, so that's why I'm kind of all over the place. This Jeep is not handled very good. So the the convoy will be a lot easier for us to set up and get it going when we do do a live. And like I said, we're going to have some stuff on the farming game coming up. We've also bought a new game. All of us have Farming Simulator 19. This is 
a newer version, a lot more stuff to do on it. Timmy set the server up for that and the trucking game, and uh, I think Hallblade is going to be the farm management manager. Now, some people said they had some rendering issues with this map about things being out of place. I haven't seen that. We're coming up on a building here. I'm going to see what this is. This is all unexplored territory, folks. All right, well, get out and look. See what this is. There's collectibles hidden throughout the map. So I always want to take time to look around and walk around these buildings good. Rowdy, how are you? See, I just unlocked the destination. Go back here and see what this pond has to offer. Then we're gonna walk back here anyway. He said you better knock first. I have no idea what's in here. Let's throw a jig. Just to see. May have to post it. I'm assuming it's probably going to be tilapia in here. The community farm will be a lot of fun for everybody. She said it's a koi pond. Yeah, it's probably got tilapias in it. We're going to find out. If you're fishing on these maps and you're not I always picked the wrong rod. Fishing in the uh, smaller body of water, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. Uh, there's a lot of big fish in the small bodies. So, I'm going to see if there's any fish even in here. I'm kind of looking around to see if I see anything swimming around too. Keep my eyeballs peeled. Notice how the cork does move with the current now. 
adds a little bit of a realistic feature to the game. Very cool addition, I think. We will have to come back and explore this pond a little more. You can get a lot of information on these reserves on the on YouTube, of course. I know there's got to be a fish in here, right? You would think. Stan would have got a legendary already. Stan would have Stan will tell you that. But most likely it's not true. Let's try one more bait. Let's see what's in here. I'm going to throw this corn out there. This corn is probably too big. Or this small bite. It's bottom fishing. Now I've been catching some carp. This thing is 30 feet deep though. There may be a carp in here. Just 28 foot. I will be live on Sunday night. There's a fish. Yeah, that's a tilapia. So this is a tilapia pond. Finally saw one. Okay, this is another spot I'll have to come back and fry. Now that I got an idea of what's in here, very observant. I don't spend a whole lot of time. We got other stuff to go look at, but I will throw the lure out there a couple more times. Look like a blue breasted tilapia right there. Swimming in front of me. So we will come back and explore this some more. Another little pond over here. Let's see. Take a photo. The largest concentration of human ancestral remains in the world. These limestone caves were the discovery site of a 2.3 million year old fossil, one Australopithecus africanus, or Mrs. Pless, as she's known at home. And right now is the site of a shiny visitor center where you can see tools, bones, all sorts. Okay, so the missions are here. I just took a photograph of uh, of Cradle of Mankind, so
just stumbled on that mission. But there'll be some there'll be some missions you have to complete. A lot of it's photography, fish catching, etc. So but I usually work on those separately. Well we kinda of stumbled into that one so that was a good deal. Anytime you see those little flickering uh, things, it's telling you you're at an area. Okay, so this is unlocked. Uh, we've walked up there. I'm going to continue on across the bridge here. And I'm looking for the, out, the uh, lookout towers as I go. There's one up there. I don't think that one's been unlocked yet. Let me point my arrow in the right direction. No, it has not. So we might as well go and try to unlock that up there. I'll drive in a little closer. Hello, oh, Nate. Okay, let's unlock this. And that's going to unlock a few question marks on the map. We're going to do some more lives on this and do a little, a little bit better thorough job of fishing. I'm just trying to get the map open. It's going to be a little storyline. That must have been the mankind storyline uh, that we just unlocked a while ago. So, see how big this is. I don't have any idea of what's in this water over here. That's the one thing about the exploring of the map. You have to figure out what, every, what everything holds. Okay, so I'm going to come back out on this road here. And then we're just going to kind of mosey on around. Uh, I'm going to come out to uh, here. Take a right turn here. And then we're going to go down here to this spot here and check that question mark. So, let's see if I can get out of here without wrecking the truck. Do a little off roading here. Thank you. 
cat coming. Bad pass. Is if you're opening these maps, you can drive them. You get everything unlocked. You always miss something. Of course. We'll be making a left turn up here. Another river. That mouth right there would be a good spot to try to fish. Alright, let's follow the road on around. Oh, I went the wrong way. I think I'm on the right track now. Yep. Check it by bow. Tire, see how missed that. That's one I would have missed. Didn't see it from the road. I'll go ahead and knock this one out. That's gonna take us to three of fifteen. We got twelve more to go. Probably won't get them unlocked today, but we'll get the ones knocked out we can. Whatever this place was, it's buried deep beneath AstroTiv. Big fake plastic dinosaurs, and as AstroTiv goes, it's good stuff. We have a question mark here. I'm going to go ahead and track that. It's a half a mile up the mountain. Way up there. So we will not be able to get a jeep in there. So I'm going to do a little rock climbing. And go see what that is. 
and see if I see any kind of rare weeds or anything that I need to report. Hopefully I can get across the river somehow. Oh, Ernie. Just never know till you get up here what you're going to be facing. I may actually have to go get a boat and cross. The light. Let's see what we got here. Waterfall. I cannot jump that. I know that. I don't see a low crossing spot. Oh, there's a bridge. Alright, let's take the bridge. I don't have any idea what's in here. But let's stop and throw a spoon real quick to see if we can get a hit. Wrong lure, Troy. Wrong lure, Troy. That gummy. Not very deep. Today is opening day of baseball, 2024. My beloved Astros will be on at 3 o'clock. Feeling this process out. Of uh, learning the waters is always a work in progress. You can just go try a few things and hopefully get some signs of success. My guess would be. This is probably loaded with poopers. Thus, you may not catch one on the lure. They're more of a live bait eater or prepared baits. But we will keep an eye out as we walk and see maybe we can see a fish to identify. One. Pull a lure under this bridge and see what happens. A lot deeper right here.
that takes some time to sort of figure it out. Okay, we're across the river now. So I'm going to just walk on down here and then I'll go pick the car up later. Looking for my tracking mark. Way up the hill. <laughs> Figures, right? Okay, we'll run up here. Sack fishing is like road hunting. Well, <clears throat> you would be incorrect, sir. Road hunting is against the law. Sight fishing is not. Oh, moon. Don't forget to that is night shop night, folks. Tonight at 7 Central, 8 Eastern. And right after that is Team Snag and Whiskers show. I'll get those links shared out after the live today. We're running a little behind. I had some stuff I had to take care of. And tomorrow night, Two Stands has got his Friday night chit chat. And then Pontoon Jody will be on. I understand from listening to the conversations this morning on the Boar's Nest. Which, as y'all know, is one of my favorite shows to watch as well. But Jody's going to start the Flathead Challenge next weekend. So the Flathead Challenge is going to be back this year, and it starts next weekend. <laughs> she says, let's go on a hiking trip. Yeah, trying to drive a Jeep up this mountain is a problem. I think that's what I'm looking for right up there. Some kind of look like radio towers. Don't know till I get there. Done a very good job on the beauty of these graphics. Um, Now you may be like, why is he running all over this map unlocking this stuff? Well, that's why right there. Unlock it so I can fast travel to destinations without having to do this every time. I'm going to run up here and see what this is. If I can get up here. Cucumber salad. We are going to have Jimmy John's tonight. Can you hear that little chime? I think there's something around here. There it is. The impala or rainbow is a medium-sized antelope found in eastern and southern Africa. The impala is one of the most common and graceful of all of Africa's antelopes. 
A slender, agile creature, it can clear formidable obstacles running at speeds faster than 37 miles per hour. They are deft runners who can leap up to 32 feet long and 10 feet high. They use their tremendous speed and agility to avoid predation and also seemingly for fun. Males are known as rams, while females are hornless and referred to as ewes. Male impalas have lyre-shaped ringed horns, which can measure up to 2.4 feet long. The male's horns can take many years to reach full length, which is why young animals are unlikely to establish a dominant position or breeding territory. Male impalas produce a scent from a gland on their foreheads to advertise their status to rivals. When they lose their rank, a male produces less scent. Males will fight for status and territory throughout the mating season, using the antlers as weapons. Most young impala are born around midday, as this is the safest time to give birth, since most of their enemies are resting. Half of newborns are killed by predators within the first few weeks of life. The name impala comes from the Zulu language meaning gazelle. Well, there's your educational... Impalas. All right, so we have unlocked this. And now I want to go up here. I'm going to fast travel. And we're going to work our way down this lake. I'm trying to get some of this unlocked today. We are having green beans with potatoes, cooked ham, caught. That sounds delicious. Alright, there's a waterfall. I'm going to walk over here and see what I see. I'm going to throw a lure a few minutes. This is a new body of water. And I want to see if there's maybe a boat dock on this thing. How big is this thing? Oh, I have been on this one. I'm going the wrong way. Let's go back this way. Alright. So one of the things that I've been enjoying about this map is that at night I just want to relax and watch TV. I can throw my carp rod out in the water and wait on a fish. It's quite enjoyable. Or a catfish, or whatever. They're gonna eventually put rod holders or some type of rod stand in game. That's supposed to be coming. <sighs> I'm trying to pick out spots on the map that I'm. Might be see an open area I may be missing. We are going to throw a lure out here in the basin of this lake when I get up here. There is a boat ramp down here. A boat dock. So we're going to go unlock that and throw a lure. We'll probably spend about five or ten minutes here fishing and move on to the next section. There's a jeep spot here too. I can get a jeep.
Okay, let's see what this is. This is a, a mogul challenge. It says catch a bronze or higher mogul challenge from the marked location. So we will take that challenge. And it's going to be right off the end of this dock. Which is good for me. And we're going to try to catch one. And I need a certain lure to catch one of those. And that's it right there. Jimmy, you need um, a copy of the game. This is the Angler. It's called a while the Angler. You can buy it at the Steam store. Or, if you have console, you can buy it from the PlayStation Network or Xbox. It is multiplayer cross-compatible, which means console players and PC players and different console players can now play together. You have to have a pretty good computer to run this game. Uh, it's a pretty big download, but it does work on console. Okay, we're going to try to catch this fish. Now, it shouldn't take me that long to catch this. And I hear a lot of people say, well, I've been trying to catch that fish for two days. Uh, if you're spending two days on a challenge, you're not doing what it takes to get the fish. So... Fish went the wrong bait. So what I like to do is I will refer to the handbook. Which I'm going to show you after this cast. Now I do know that the mogul will bite the spoon. And they'll also bite a jig. But let me look him up real quick. Because it's basically a new fish. To me. Here he is right here. Dough, red worm, eggs, a dough, red worm, and corn. Now, if you push inspect, which is why, you will see that he also bites crankbaits, spinnerbaits, spoons. So, I'm going to try the jig, because I know the jig is popular. for these because I've been catching them on it. So we're going to try the jig off the end of the dock here. Because you see one swimming around down there. And if that don't get it, we'll put a little piece of live bait on. Or a piece of corn. A lot of times when I stop this is when it'll hit. You're doing something wrong. Uh-huh. Yep.
let's put because we're trying to do other stuff today let's get this challenge done Put some eggs here on a cork. About a foot deep. And just pitch it out there. See if they don't catch one. Fix vlogs. Good to see you. We just need a little one. Try a couple different baits. Yep, I think we're going to get our vocal. There he is. Got him. Okay. That's a perfect illustration of you change my outfit for the day. Perfect illustration of if you're not, a challenge is complete. If you're not, that's how fast the challenge should go if you're doing it right. So, if you're struggling, that's why. I'm going to get... Uh, we got the boat ramp unlocked. I'm going to get in the Jeep here. I want to go back driving. Okay, there's my Jeep. I want to get back on the road over here. That is the first time that I have brought a line into that part of the reserve. So. But that's going to warrant some going back fishing that to figure out what's what. I didn't want to open up too much of this map because I want to do this today live. So I didn't haven't played a whole lot. To save it for today's show. Uh, and then now we're going to pull up. Uh, and now that I've done that, I'm going to be able to go fish some of these new bodies of water that I'm kind of unlocking. And I really wanted to go fish with the tiger fish. 
Like that's going to be the coup de la. And the, not only the tiger fish, but the uh, sharp tooth catfish. And I'm waiting for that. I think those will, the sharp tooth catfish, will definitely be a legendary fish. Probably that, and I'm thinking, based upon what I was catching yesterday, the grass carp might be the other legendary. And I know a lot of people would love to see there's something right here. A lot of people would love to see the uh, tiger fish be a legendary because a lot of people are excited about the tiger fish. I don't know what this is. There's the chime. And there's a note. A daka is a small to medium-sized brown antelope native to sub-Saharan Africa, found in heavily wooded areas. Common daikas are omnivores, typically eating the leaves and shoots of bushes, and fruits and flowers that feeding bears have dropped to the ground. They also dig up tubers and roots with their hooves. Common daikas may eat insects and even lizards, frogs, rodents, and nestling beds. Occasionally, they may eat curry. Daikas form monogamous breeding pairs, meaning that one male mates and lives with only one female. Females are known to produce young at any time of the year, with gestation lasting four to seven months. A female will seek out very secluded and thick cover for birth. Newborns are well developed when born and are able to run within a period of 24 hours. Both parents look after them. Young are weaned at two months of age and reach adult size in six months. Females attain reproductive maturity at 8 to 9 months and males at 12 months of age. In some African cultures, the common diker's horn is made into pendants that are believed to ward off evil spirits. The common diker's call of alarm is a nasal snort. It bleeds loudly when caught and this sound will attract other dikers. It is believed that eight different races of the common diker exist. You're a natural. Their varied coloration may mean that they match their specific habitat. Male common dikers have a pair of small horns, and in some places it is typical for females to also have them. African rock pythons have been known to die by their stomachs being pierced by the male diker's horns after swallowing them all. Antelopes have sent glands for leaving marks of their presence. Dikers will press their face gland against each side of a diker of the opposite sex in mutual marking. Okay. I just took a screenshot of that. That'll make a nice thumbnail after I dress it up a little bit for this game. Uh, while we're right here, we might as well throw a lure, right? Just a couple times. See if we can hang on to something. If I can get out of this and bank without breaking my neck. Stand over here on this clear spot. This looks like a good spot. Now, now see, let, let me tell you something real quick while I'm here. While I'm wandering around this reserve looking at stuff, I look for places like that. See how that's nice and smooth and it's just kind of cleaned out. When we get rod holders and the ability to put more than one rod out, there's a big old tilapia. That would be a very good bank spot, folks. Very good bank spot. Come put a rod stand out and throw out three rods. Fan them out in different directions with different baits on them. And just fish. Watch TV. I can do that with one rod. But it'd be nice to have a set of rods. Now, I have not fished this body of water. So I'm going to throw a couple of different colored spoons out here. 
Because I have a feeling we're starting to get into the tiger fish area now. Oh, D, it's good to see you. Appreciate you coming in, D. Driving home. Yeah, we're running a little late today. I had an appointment I had to take care of. Had to push it back an hour. We may fish here about 10 minutes or so. See what happens. I do see some tilapia down there. Oh, we're on, folks. What is this? This looks like a mogul. It is a mogul. Alright. Let's up the game a little bit. Oh, a gold spoon. Feeling out process. Whenever you get on one of these reserves, it's new. You have to really learn it. So. So we know moguls in here, and we know tilapias in here because we saw those. Caught the mogul. So the VFL is still going on. We are in now week three of eight. Sunday night I will be live to announce the week three winner and the winner of Big Fish of the Week. That will be somewhere between 6 and There's a big fish right there. What is that? Don't know what that was. Couldn't tell. What's up, 205? Throw a piece of corn out. Set a minute. I'm gonna throw a piece of corn out here. It's the 13 foot feeder rod used to carp fishing. Water's god, that water's deep. Hundred feet. Let's give this a few minutes, see what happens. Seven. East. Don't know what's going to happen. We're going to wait and see. I sit right here like this, reclined, and watching that TV up there. Well, that rod out there, just like that at nighttime, a lot of times we fish. 
<clears throat> but I will be so tickled when they add those rods, Dan. So another thing that I've learned about this this game is uh, I, I put this out here and I'll leave it a while, a few minutes. We're, we're kind of, you know, trying to explore a little bit, so I'm not going to stay here too long, but you throw a rod out and you got bait on it, you don't need a bite here with the, the five bits. You probably need to move that, recast, change baits, do something. T get them figured out. So we're gonna we're gonna fish this piece of core in a minute, and then I'm gonna put a boilie on or a dog biscuit, and we'll try that. I have a feeling there's probably some carp in here, and maybe just maybe, and uh, a shark tooth catfish. Put a dog biscuit on. I was catching some fish on the dog biscuit. It's a big old grass car. 82 feet right here to the left. Try it and see what happens for a minute. Zoom in on the old rod tip. So when I get a bite, you'll see that rod tip bend a little bit, and then you'll get the takedown. If we get a bite. Yankees and the Astros are underway. At Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas. Okay. We give it a shot. Let's go. God, I love that fast travel feature for that Jeep. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and drive on down. And based upon the map, we're gonna drive. We're gonna drive over the dam just to look at it. So, drive on down here. on the other side. Pretty cool.
Fast travel destination unlocked. Go fish the spillway. Talk about behind the dam or on the lake side. Walk down here because there's something down here anyway. So, oh, nope, you gotta go back. I won't let you go that far. It's a respawn area. That's the actual end of the reserve. Right there. Yep. Okay, good to know. So, we're going to drive up this side of it. Make sure I haven't missed a waypoint. That's the Sunrise Country Club. I do know I have to have a photograph of that. So we're going to ride down here and get that while we're here. Are you looking for the Country Club? Our tower. Our Walmart had no power from being hit. I like it. Maybe more than anyone. But I recognize how silly it is. A brush hog cutting cut the line. <laughs> Figures. This is why you bury those lines. All right. So, that's unlocked. That was Lookout Tower. So, we will drive on down a little further and see if I can find this country club. I don't think I passed it. So, we'll see.
I have a feeling this is going to be the country club. There's a sign up here. That is the country club. Alright, let's walk in the country I need to take a photograph of this. So we're going to do that. I'm listening for my jingle. Here is a challenge board. You can do challenges. Very important to do those. I hear my jingle. The plain zebra is an African equine with a black and white striped coat. Scientists have debated for over 150 years as to why zebras have such stripes. Theories range from camouflage or a way of signaling members of their species to methods of regulating their temperature. The most likely theory, however, is as a form of pest control, protecting zebras from flies. By comparing zebras to horses, their closest living relative, scientists have found that horses were bitten by flies disproportionately more than zebras under the same conditions, leading them to conclude that stripes are far more than just decoration. Although zebras can make noises, they also communicate with each other through facial expressions, moving their ears, sniffing and widening their eyes. When zebras greet each other, they stick their ears straight up and push their faces forward. When they are frightened, their ears push forward, and when they are angry, their ears pull backward. At night, zebras can lie down to sleep to reach a deeper REM state of rest. However, if they're sleeping during the day, wild zebras will sleep while standing so they can be alert in the face of danger. Zebras can run up to 40 miles per hour. After six minutes of being born, zebra falls can stand. After 20 minutes, they can walk, and after 40 minutes, they can run. Okay, now I just gotta find the location to take the picture. There's a challenge board. This would be a very cool spot to bank fish from. Wonder how deep the water is here. Let's find out. Fifty foot.
all you can eat shrimp. I can only imagine. Guy that owns that restaurant be sweating. Hoping you hurry up and get food. Okay, let's go see if I can find my spot to take my photograph. I have a feeling that it's probably going to be back up here at the Jeep. We'll probably overrun the doggone thing. Well, where is my photo opportunity? I'm retracing my steps to try to find this.
this may be one that's going to give me trouble. Mirror Carp Challenge. Guess we know there's Mirror Carp in here, right? Run around the back side, see what's up here somewhere. I have not seen anything yet. As far as my visual. Nor have I heard my jingle. What am I overlooking? Congratulations for making it this far. We are South Africa's most exclusive fishing club. The Sunrise Country Club. And I am Freaky, MBA. Leader, entrepreneur, and self-made man. If you want to make the cut, it won't be easy. But we're interested. Maybe you've got what it takes. So, the first thing we need is a before photo. Doesn't matter how big it is, where it is, or what you're wearing, just catch something. Okay. Gotta catch a fish. Gotta catch a fish. That's what I was doing wrong. See what I'm talking about those challenges? Alright, let's go down here to the dock, catch one. Try to catch one. So we know there's mirror carp in here, so my first guess would be uh, I'm gonna use corn or boiling. What have I got on here? I got a dog biscuit. Uh, boily. Let me check my handbook here. Cheese, boilies, or natural, or blood worm. Alright, and he wanted me to catch a... A silver... Use a bottom ring. Okay. Well, let's try it. Now this may take a minute. I did notice back there that there is some challenges for some carp gear. I tried to go back up there and jump in the pool after I seen what Buck Williams wrote, but I didn't quite make it.
Oh, Nick, how are you? I will be live Sunday for the weekly live stream for the Virtual Fishing League. Uh, while I'm waiting, uh, we have, uh, this is week three, we'll have five more weeks to go. We will announce week three's winner, Big Fish, and we will spin the wheel to see what the next species is going to be. Uh, we will also... Uh, be having some live streams coming up for multiplayer. We have got a server set up thanks to Mr. Timmy Bullock for helping us with that. For Farming Simulator 19 and for the convoy on the truck driving game. Don't know right off when we're going to start those streams. I think we all have plans to work the farm uh, on Sunday nights. And we need to get in there and get some work done and sort of get our farm started where well, y'all have something to watch. It's going to be kind of slow getting it started. But I think we're going to try to do a farming uh Multiplay every Sunday. I'm not saying that we'll be live every Sunday, but excuse me, we will be doing some lives. Uh, the convoy for the trucking game is a lot easier to do on the server, a lot easier getting everybody connected. Sometimes we have technical issues getting everybody connected. Uh, the server should help eliminate a lot of that. Easy. Uh, change baits. A, also, we'll put some cheese on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We're going to be... Uh, Trying to spawn some tournaments out of the VFL. That does not mean if you did not participate in the VFL, you are not welcome. If you want to do a, a virtual fishing tournament, uh, be a one-day tournament, a couple of hours, probably two, maybe three, you are more than welcome to join the tournament. That will be a live event. Uh, so we've been tossing that around, talking about it, trying to figure out how we want to do it. If I don't get a bite here in a minute, I will change hook sizes, downsize my bait, and then try that. Uh, I'm going to try to get Buck Williams to... Uh, Read the chat for us when we do the farming simulator. Uh, don't think Buck's going to farm, but... <laughs> a lot less rules, huh? Well, we're not going to have a lot of rules, because uh, this, this is going to be for... You know, just fun, like they did the league, it's just a fun league, and not a lot of rules needed. Uh, so, and we're going to try to get Buck to read the chat for us. I'm going to downsize my hook. If you're having struggles catching fish, downsize your hook. I only need a silver, so I don't have to have a big piece of bait on here. Silver carp should be somewhere around the 
18 to 20 pound mark. Uh -oh. So we got a lot of things coming up. Tournament, like I said, will be a couple of hours. Uh, and my Astros just hit a home run. Uh, so if you want to get in it when we announce it, everybody's welcome. Four to zero Houston. And we will get you in. And I need to fish. Make sure I'm not supposed to be sitting on a marker. Doesn't say that. I have to use a bottom rig. Don't forget about the bait shop and Dustin's show tonight. Team Snag and Whiskers. I will be there watching. I'm going to get me a Jimmy John sandwich tonight. What did he say? Wish Stan luck in a real Channel Cat tourney Saturday. Yeah. He is fishing. think my doc heart doctor is nuts because he said the blood thinners aren't what's making you cold yeah mine told me the same thing uh, uh, my heart doctor told me the same thing That they don't make you cold. By God, he ain't the one taking them out. So. Uh -uh. I've been on this earth long enough to know. That I'm cold. Never been cold natured before. So I started taking them doggone things. Searching for a bait. Cry night crawler. Red worm. A little bit more. A little deeper out there. <clears throat> he ain't the one take it, a man. I know when I got sense enough to know when I'm cold. Cast by the pole. Okay.
downsize the hook. There you go. Yeah, he ain't the one taking it, I am. I know when I'm cold. Cold used to not bother me. It does now. There ought to be a fish in here somewhere, right? This is the this is the hard part of figuring out what type of fish it is. But I do see a lot of tilapias jumping around out there. Let's try a hot dog. I fished 10 hours on Monday for the VFL. Come on, good God. I wanted to go explore this map a little bit. <clears throat> That's what I did this week. I caught a very good bag for the VFL on Monday. After fishing several hours. Don't know if it'll be the winning bag, but uh, it's going to be up there with the, the numbers, I think. But oh, we won't know till Sunday. If I've got the winning bag or not.
But it's a it's 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 a good bag. I suppose if I'd have fished maybe another ten hours, I might have been able to beat it. Good Lord. Ten hours was enough. I am surely trying to catch this fish before we end today. Let's try it over here. That gum that phone ain't done nothing to ring today. Go somewhere. Tonight and tomorrow night and Saturday night, I plan on working on some of these challenges for this map. They've got some challenges for some special catfish gear. It says back there on the message board. Dog it. <laughs> oh. I didn't get him. That yumma booger bear. As Mr. John would say. Let's try that again. We got a hit though. That's good. That's a good sign. Maybe we'll get another one. I'll set the remote down for a second. That was a mistake. Usually I get it a little faster than that. Dad, burn it. <clears throat> Live bait fishing is not my forte on this game. That was on a piece of corn with a number five hook. We should get another bite, so we'll wait a little while. Astros four, Yankees zero, bottom of the third. Getting a bite. I got him that time. Don't know what he is. He's not all that big, so he, unless he's a small species fish, we may not get the silver here. We'll see. If he's a mogul or a grouper. Especially a red breast, we might get it. We're about to find out. Got it. And that's how you do the challenge. There's a challenge down. Now for the after -fear. You need something with some swagger. So wear your best stuff. You've got to have something that doesn't look half bad. Now for an exclusive location. I happen to have one picked out especially. No need for thanks. Can't spend those. Just get me a good photo. Now I get to take my photo. Alright. Let's finish up this challenge. 
go to the location flicker on your map okay <clears throat> Thinking that's going to be up here. I'm probably going to stay down here today and work these challenges tonight while I watch some TV while I watch after I ate my sandwich. I'll eat, watch the bait shop. Probably stay down here. Alright, I gotta find that flicker. Now, oh, I hear it. Let me make sure I'm reading this right. <clears throat> Go to the location as marked on the map. Okay, so there's a mark somewhere on this map. Where is that mark? I don't see it. Is my Jeep setting on it? Let me go look. It's exactly what it says. Go to the location that Pricky has marked on your map. Ah, wasn't actually good. God, way up there. You gotta be kidding. Well, we're gonna run over there and do this one real quick. Finish it. Got to be a faster way, right? Really not. All right, let's get the sign done. It's going to be a long run. So I will eat tonight and watch the bait shop and then we will work on this map some. Go in and probably talk to the guys tonight. Hear all the lies about how big their bag is for the VFL. I hear a lot of a lot of showmanship in there, I tell you. Ah. So the the the, uh, the conversations for the virtual for the virtual fishing league has not been as hotly contested this week as in the previous two. Now, that could be that because of the 
post numbers that we had last week that people are being a little bit more guarding about what they're saying they how well they did or they just ain't doing that well I gotta tell you the brook trout is a tough species to catch because there is so many trout species on that reserve that they you catch a lot of fish and they are tough to get a big one as a fast travel unlocked Welcome back, sir. We are headed the right direction. What time is what? Um, what time is what, Ernie? Ernie's asking me about what time something is. I'm trying to remember what he's talking about. But the conversations Oh, uh oh That was almost a disaster Ooh. Almost walked right off the waterfall Ah, uh, we usually in there off and on early evening at night just got I dog it we don't really have a set time that we go in Ernie just uh I'll make sure you're added we, we'll be in the uh will be in the multiplayer. I mean in the uh, what's the name of that chat, Kelly? <laughs> I'll make sure you add it. You'll see us in there. I think the worst group in the world go here. It might be somebody in there now. Maybe somebody in there that's live. But if I go in and out, I go in and talk a while. We play games a while. I'm almost there. But anyway, the conversations for the VFL have decreased on the bragging, so I don't know. 
with everybody struggling or being a little bit more cautious about what they say. Last week was extremely close. I may fall off this doggone cliff again, people. I done picked the worst way to go here that you ever could possibly pick. What in the world I thought this was a good idea for? Oh my god, look at this. Ah. Uh, I think I run out of real estate. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Dead gimmick. It's right there. Multiplayer chat, okay. I may not get down here. This was not the greatest idea I've ever had. We just about got it beat now. Yeah, that was not the greatest, smoothest thing I've ever done. something big and most importantly snap a photo that's going to do numbers Wait. Let me see what's here. Largemouth yellowfish location. Alright, let me see what this says. Use a bottom rig. This ought to be interesting. No bait. Well, Goldfish. We're going to try this for just a minute. And then I'm going to shut it down for the day. We are going to try it. Alright. I know where the yellowfish are at at least, right? This is a deep river. All right, we put a bolly on there. It's just, it's just a carp in here. We'll give it a minute.
Well, that thing can be a little misleading because it says that it is a yellowfish location. That doesn't necessarily mean that's the only thing that's in here. I guarantee it's not. But we will try a piece of dough bait. Waiting, I'm gonna look at this map. I can always come back here. This blue spot here, someone caught a diamond sharp tooth catfish out of it. I marked it to go try it later. There has not been a hook chart yet for this game. So, try big minnow. I gotta go get some minnows. I'm about out of minnows. If I thought it would help me catch a fish, I would. let you folks go back to what y'all were doing. Thank you for 17 people still watching. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, my voice is going it needs a break but I'll see you guys Sunday for the Virtual Fishing League weekly stream. See who's in the league. Who's made up ground and who lost ground. I'd be interested. I'll uh, put some information about the multiplays out as we go. And uh, let y'all know what we're going to do. I'm going to sit here and try to catch this gold fish. God bless you. It's good to see you. Thank you for being part of Real and Virgin Outdoors. And I will see y'all Sunday. Sometime between 6 and 6.30. And we will be live. For the Virtual Fishing League Weekly Report. God bless you. And as the great pocket pig would say, <laughs>